Welcome back, Marvel Universe community. This is Sakio Castro coming back with another figure review. Uh, this time it is uh, one of the figureheads of the Avengers. Um, I just want to bring him out. Hank Pym, Hen Henry Pym. Uh, in this one particular wave, it's known as Yellow Jacket and comes with Ant Man. The yellow jacket is an alter ego of Henry Pym, and Ant-Man is uh, Ant-Man. Ant-Man can shrink and turn into that little guy, or Ant-Man can grow and be regular size. In this particular, there's going to be an Ant-Man in Moon Knight 2-pack that's coming out, but I'll do a review on that when it comes out. Uh, this is Yellow Jacket, uh, a variant superhero costume for him. Uh, on the back, it's part of the Hammer Files. You can see you got Dark Hawkeye, Constrictor, and Iron Man 2020. Uh, but yeah, Ant Man is just a little prop, nothing major. He turns into a regular guy, and then he also turns into Giant Man, or as he's known here, is Goliath. So this was the Walmart exclusive, um, which was the uh, 70th anniversary Marvel Comics. I think it was called a giant battle pack. On the back, it shows the other battle pack, which was a uh, giant man scroll with Bucky Cap, also known as Bucky Barnes slash Captain America. Um, for some reason, in the comic book and in the figure, they show you that character, the yellow and blue. That is just one hard character to get. I have him. I'm I'm probably not going to open him only because I have I want this one. I did not collect uh, Marvel Legends fans. I did not do build a figure at all. So I didn't have the Giant Man build a figure from Toy Biz. I have this one, which is all right in my book. But this one is actually a reused body mold, similar to how the Frost Giant was reused from a Thor from the Marvel Legends Icon series. This was Cyclops. So Cyclops has been made into Goliath slash Giant Man. Uh, what they did not add to him was his little antenna on his head, like you see in the picture. Right there. The antenna. They didn't have it, but whatever. I can live with it. So being that this is a Marvel Universe Avengers Assemble, let's go ahead and assemble them. Okay, folks, I'm back. Here he is, Giant Man himself. Can't, he doesn't have a stand. Or do I have a stand for something this size? I'll park him back here. Here's Yellow Jacket. And then there's Ant Man. Uh, the piece La Resistance is Giant Man, is not Yellow Jacket. I just brought him out because I've got no other reason to talk about Yellow Jacket. So if I'm talking Hank Pym, let's talk Hank Pym. Hank Pym created the Pym Particles. Hank Pym is responsible for making the wasp small. Hank Pym uh, beats women. That's, the, that's basically what his storyline is. He loves Janet Van Dyne and um, he loves her so much. But he creates Ultron, or he helps create Ultron along with Reed Richards and Tony Starks, and shit goes wrong, and he just can't handle the pressure, and he just beats her. I mean, that was domestic violence in high comic books, so they're talking about real world things. Uh, quick rundown on articulation Ant Man does not have any articulation. Yellow Jacket is the same body mold as the Silver Surfer, Spider Man, yada yada, yada skinny body mold. So you know it's got bulge on the shoulders, single horn. Um, bicep swivel, it's got the single jointed elbow and wrist twist. Uh, upper torso articulation, ball jointed hips, double jointed knees, and has the 360 ankles. Uh, as far as Giant Man is concerned, Giant Man is an uh, old Legends icon, so he's got the ab crunch instead of the uh, upper articulation. Um, he's got the ball jointed shoulder, Bicep swivel, single double jointed elbow, wrist twist, uh, ab crunch, 
ball jointed hips, which mimic real hips movement, double jointed knee, and has the ankle uh, pivots so you can stand properly. And of course, he's got a ball jointed head. So I'm going to move this up this way. I've also put Wasp right there. So she's a founding member of the Avengers along with Hank Pym. So let's move this guy out of the way. Let's put the wasp in the mix somewhere. So here we go. Let's, avenge, let's assemble the Avengers. We've got Tony Stark, Iron Man. All right. You've got Thor, the god. Okay. You've got the Incredible Hulk, the monster. All right. You've got Captain America, the soldier. We've got Black Panther. Alright, and of course you've got Hawkeye. And let's not forget Janet Van Dyne. And there you go. You've got the Avengers. Avengers Assemble. And of course you've got Giant Man. So, um, obviously this is not the only Avengers set. There's the West Coast Avengers, which another uh, Iron Man costume is used for the West Coast Avengers. Um, and of course, there's figures that don't even exist that are in the West Coast Avengers that need to come out. I know I've got Wonder Man and Quicksilver and waiting for the Scarlet Witch to come out. Um, I've got U.S. Agent on hold, ready to roll. So, I mean, um, we're building the Avengers little by little, and I took the cape off uh, Black Panther because this is it. Yeah, that's it. That's when he's in King mode. Uh, here he's in Avengers mode. Um, you know, this is... Uh... Yeah, the Avengers... Um movie's coming out and obviously people are excited to see how it's going to turn out. I think it's going to be phenomenal. Phenomenal. So I can't wait for it to come out. I wanted to go ahead and assemble the Avengers. Um, now that these guys are assembled together and ready to roll, I can't wait to get, I can't wait to get uh, the Dark Avengers. Um, I didn't review this, but let me go ahead and review it while I got it here. Just so you guys are aware. These two packs from Target exclusives, Giant Battles, called the comic book. So, inside the comic book, it does give you a reason why these characters are in the two pack together. If I can get it open. reprint of an Avengers comic book. Avengers number 51. So there it is. We've got Thor, Hawkeye, Iron Man. We've got a yellow and blue Hank Pym along with Janet Van Dyne beating on him because he beats on her. Uh, they call him Goliath. Uh, just so you guys are aware, Hawkeye at one point was Giant Man. So, okay, you guys didn't know that. He was using uh, Hank Pym's uh, Pym molecules. Are molecules? Yeah, Pym molecules. Just turn this thing big or small, giant or small, whatever. But it's a pretty cool retro comic book. Um, it looks like it's from back when comic books were 12 cents, so it must be really back in the day. They're up against the collector. I haven't seen that guy in forever. So there's the Hulk and the Rainbow Bridge, I, old school Iron Man, uh, old school Thor. I mean, some of you guys don't even know what this stuff is. It's crazy. But what's weird about what's weird about the comic book is that it shows there's the Black Panther and Captain America. Is that he's red and blue the whole time inside the comic book. 
on the cover he's red, he's blue and yellow. Look at uh, Name more in Daredevil. A Marvel masterwork. That was masterwork art back then. Wow. So, Secret Invasion, 25th anniversary. I'm gonna get that. That's that's a collectible book. Shows you the X-Men. Now this is the original, one of the original X-Men teams. You've got Aurora, Nightcrawler, Cyclops, Aurora Storm. Uh, Colossus, Professor X, Kitty Pride down below, and uh, Brown Wolverine. So, all cool stuff, man. I mean, I'm, there's the first wave of Marvel Universe. Uh, universe is expanding, and uh, they really wanted to get people collecting it. It's grown a lot. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I didn't want, didn't want to rush it, but I wanted to go ahead and showcase the Avengers. The team is still growing. There's still figures that will be coming out. Tiger, Reptile, and so on and so on. Um, but with time, these characters will probably be, well, at least this one will probably be replaced. The Hulk is the only one that's probably not going to fit into this uh, ensemble of characters. This is uh, Classic Avengers. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. Uh, subscribe. Leave comments.